born and raised in Chicago, and I walk the streets with the people, and I've, I've been there most of my life. Play the way the city is defined. You know, they're a blue-collar type city, and people like to see hard workers, and that's the way we've, we've won. Great feeling to be playing in a city that's just so crazy about their sports. The crowd in the stadium coming to its feet. What do the Bulls mean to Chicago? Mean everything. Chicago Stadium explodes to life. They force you to play hard. They reward you with their their love and attention. I've never seen people who deserve it more. I love the city of Chicago. They want to push you. They, they feel that you always can be better than what you think. And they want to push you and make the best come out of you. And I guess for all the pushing, this is a reason that we want to win it so badly. The Chicago Bulls ended the 1984 season with the second worst record in the NBA and a 19-year history of unfulfilled championship dreams. But that spring would not be remembered as a time of disappointment, but rather as the dawning of a new era. The Chicago Bulls pick Michael Jordan. Bulls suddenly possessed the most exciting player in basketball. And as Michael Jordan soared, so too did the battered hopes of Chicago fans. The expectations grew each, each year. At the beginning of the season, you want to take it further. They started, they started to expect you to go further. Chicago had found a hero to deliver them from the NBA's depths. But to mount an assault against basketball's elite, he would need reinforcements. In 1985, John Paxson was signed as a free agent to join Jordan in the backcourt. 1987 brought rookie forwards Horace Grant and Scottie Pippen, making the Bulls one of the NBA's most promising young teams. We were tremendously excited because we felt we had gotten two young athletes, two guys who could run and jump and were quick and had all the athletic skills we wanted. In 1988, the final piece to the puzzle was seemingly put into place as center Bill Cartwright was acquired by trade. It had now been four long years since Jordan's arrival, and Chicago's climb to the top of the NBA seemed complete. A little hang time for Jordan. But their championship blueprint would not bring immediate success, only growing pains, as the Bulls found out that their true journey was just beginning. Well, it started out down a dirty road. Jordan is upset. Started out. Oh, the luck of Jordan was not happy about it. It was a real tough after our first year. People looked at it that Michael didn't have that supporting cast, and so the pressure was on them for us to start developing his players. Here's Scotty Pippen on the right. Ran into a dead end and lost it out of bounds. Who beat you? He's had two shots now and didn't have control of either one. Break your heart. Lost his footing and lost the ball. Steal your crown. Grant all the way. He missed the dunk. But I ain't got wings. Watch the lane to Cartwright. He lost it out of bounds. Coming down is the hardest thing. We knew that uh, if we were going to be a good team, that we'd have to have other people step up and do the job. Scotty coming hard on the front. Takes it all the way to the rack. Oh! 